This is going to be a quick and very unprofessional unboxing of the Mammoth VR uh, pre-order special. Uh, it shipped from Sweden to Utah on the 15th, so it's now 23rd, so what is that, eight days later? And I must say that the packaging that they did is, I don't know if this is a garbage bag or whatever the hell they, they did to this thing, but... This is the stock, but as you can see, the stock came through. And the first thing we see is, yes, I did get carbon fiber as promised. But I don't know what he was thinking, how a tiny little piece of bubble wrap was going to help or protect this thing at all. But it is actually carbon fiber it's very very light i mean like this probably weighs with this on it probably about as much as two pens all right and we have another pretty much unprotected piece sitting in the top of the box just rolling around okay this one's super light it's definitely about a weight of a pen here, I'll turn around so you guys can actually see. Holy Christ. And then, yes, I am in my work clothes. Because I wanted to get this done and over with real quick. Alright, and then. Oh. Okay. Oh, here goes carbon fiber piece over here. I can't grab it just yet. Magnets over here. <laughs> okay, can space those a little bit better so we can actually grab the damn things. I oh, can't even get them out with the damn. Eh. Holy crap! <clears throat> Ow. It's actually pretty strong. Let's go ahead and grab that piece out real fast. Okay, so this is a carbon fiber tube. I can see the sanding on the inside. Dude, that's super light. That's like the weight of a pencil. That's gonna feel great on the shoulders. Whoa, feel the pull. Wow, those are pretty damn. I'm just gonna let it go. I'll probably shatter the damn magnet. But wow. Okay, don't do that when you get yours. <laughs> There's probably some warning in the, on that thing that says, do not do this. But wow, those magnets are very strong. So you're gonna have some good fun with those. Look at that. I can. Ah! <laughs> That was, that's about four inches off the ground. Holy Christ. Got a couple tools. Torx head. Not exactly what, sure what size, but Torx head. And a bigger Torx head. Uh, the finger placement's really not that bad. Like, you do hit that, but your finger kind of falls into the niche here. And it's really... It's not that bad, you know? It won't mess with your trigger finger or anything. So it feels pretty good. I don't think that's a big deal at all. But if I was him, I would have... Uh, Put a nice round curvature in here instead of this square, so that way it's a little bit pleasanter, uh, pleasanter, a little bit more pleasant on the finger.
All right, now the the weight of these is definitely more with these things on. You're gonna notice a difference. And I think that's where the carbon fiber will come into play because yeah, these things are very front heavy. They wanna fall forward in your hands now. Um, but whenever you're actually, you know, fighting, it's gonna be nice because you can just rip off and it'll give you a nice, yeah, I think, and these things are strong as shit. And these things are really strong. I mean, I cannot, I can't move them from position. And the way these things are made, they have a nice radius on the bottom and on the inside. So it holds really well on there. But yeah, you can see how they just want to like fall forward now. Okay, well, mine didn't come with drill holes. So, like on here, these holes up here are drilled. So, if you screw these down, it'll push the plastic, is my guess. Because there's not actually, these don't actually touch. But I'm guessing what it does, it puts pressure, downward force pressure onto the carbon fiber here. By the way, it is quite strong anyways. So I'll have to get out my drill and drill those. There, There is, you know, a, some hole, but this just goes in there and flops around. Like, the the hole that was drilled is too big. It's quite loud. set this up for me and these points here do pivot here and here
This piece they provide here is way too freaking long. I need mean, like half that. Because you butt this up against your shoulder. Right? You butt this up against your shoulder. It means your eye, when normally looking down a uh, rifle on the buttstock here, and then the cheek rest, will be looking straight down the gun. This way. Right? So that means that you have to bring your head over further. But, you know, so you would think, drop it down like this, turn the buttstock that way, bump it up against your shoulder, or even uh, peck, and look down it. But then the, the, you know, the gun is, gun stock's in the way of your thumb if you need to drop it down for any reason. So I don't see... In all the uh, videos I saw, well, the one video that's out there, the guy's piece here is basically all the way, these are basically touching, almost. And I almost feel like, since I am a bigger guy, that this needs to be longer. I know that I have this in the back here, but then my hands would be so close that using what I usually use as an like, AR rifle in the game would be a little too close and the game will freak out. I would have taken those two extra inches there, put it here. Um, yeah, but I think that's what we're gonna I'm gonna show. But you can help with that cheek problem by pivoting it like this. It's probably what his intention were, or their intentions were. Sorry. Let's use that, and then this back here to help with that problem but not actually having these drilled anywhere near because you ain't gonna be able to put the wrong one you ain't gonna be able to screw this in with enough force that you need to actually start the tiny little pre uh, not pre but self tapping screws they are self tapping they have channels right here you probably can't see it but there is a nice channel there so, trying to get force this with this tool. The tool is cool. The tool actually works for the rest of it. I mean, it's not the fastest, obviously, but it works. And it's actually pretty good quality. I mean, they, there is some glue in there to hold the bit in. But trying to force this down into just pure plastic is just... Uh, I'm going to get up. Yeah, you know, blister on my already welding blisters. I would say from just the unboxing, not actually having played with it, that the quality is good. Shipping gets a a C because the buttstock was all scratched up from being outside of the package. Already right, after playing with the mammoth. And setting it up to my liking for a while, I would say it is really good. Uh, once you have everything adjusted, it doesn't, it does not move. You, you can't move it. You can drop it on the ground, it doesn't move. Because once you screw these screws in, it does puncture, puncture the carbon fiber. I can feel them in there. It's not a big puncture, but it's enough to where it locks it in place. Uh, another thing is that the hoops that they made for holding on to the uh, shoulder straps is not big enough. I had to use a key ring in order to make an adapter. And this strap itself is actually quite thin and small compared to the other ones for real guns. I got this one for airsoft, but this is actually too big for my airsoft gun to loop through. So I'm using it for this. But, uh, yeah, it is sturdy, strong. You know, it's a little bit awkward when you disconnect it. Try to find it with a VR helmet on. The magnets themselves are actually pretty loud, but they are very strong. I would have liked to have seen something in there to cushion that sound, whether it had been rubber or, hell, even felt or something, but they're quite loud. And if you have someone in the next room, oh, they're going to hear that. They're going to hear that all night long of you. You know, or hurrying up and swapping mags and clicking back in. They're going to hear it. Um, 
the carbon fiber makes this extremely light. Without the actual controllers on there, it's not, it's, I don't even know how to compare it, but it's pretty damn light. Overall, I would give this uh, a good solid A for effort. Uh, these not being drilled to the proper size was a real pain in the ass. I had to get out the drill gun. Um, what else? The, the distance here is just terrible. I'm not sure if I set it up wrong. But, you know, I couldn't figure out how else to do it. I might try switching sides of this so whenever I bring it up. But then it would be over here in the shoulder instead of resting. You know, I don't even know if that would work because it would just slip off. But, yeah, all in all, I'll give it a, give it, give it a good A for effort. Um, hopefully... He makes a better one in the future, and if he does, or they, sorry, I will definitely probably purchase that one as well because this is a, a good start one for sure. Um, all right. Thank you for watching, and see you on the battlefield. I know that's someone saying I don't give a shit. All right, peace. I'm